The new Red Dead Online event for July is officially here and with it comes the free outfit reward and discounts that we talked about earlier on the channel, but now we also have the full list of monthly rewards and extra bonuses for fast gold, money, and XP. Whether you're a new player or a longtime vet of Red Dead Online, this update may have something in it for you, although many players aren't really too enthused about this time around, just because yesterday in the early morning it really didn't seem like much, and of course now we are only a week away from going a full year without a new DLC update to Red Dead. The bonuses and rewards and maybe even some of the discounts this time around are worth checking out if you're still playing the game that is. Now, I'm not sure why the collector role still has yet to be featured as a specialist role for a monthly event, but in the meantime, let's discuss what there is to do in game and let's get started with all the free rewards, items, and more. If you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So jumping into the fray right away, we have more rotating featured series playlists over the next four weeks that are paying out triple the usual money, and of course we have a host of special weekly bonuses that we need to go over. As always with these freebies though, Rockstar doles out during these event months and in-game events. All of the rewards and offers will be delivered one within 72 hours to either your post office, camp lockbox, or your benefits section in the pause menu. So for the week of July 5th through the 11th, we have the Explosive Series Featured Series. Taking up weapons and participating in Call to Arms this week will reward you with an offer for 50% off the Lamat Revolver, as well as reaching Wave 8 in Call to Arms for a free Varmint Rifle, and that's what you'll get for reaching Wave 8+. Now, for the week of July 12th through the 18th, we have Hardcore Most Wanted as the featured series. Defend innocent bystanders and allies from waves of attackers and call to arms this week to receive an offer for 40% off any shotgun of your choice, plus criminals who venture on the foul side of the law and complete at least one blood money contract and one opportunity this week will receive the Red Gardenia hat for their troubles. For the week of July 19th and July 25th, we have the Hardcore Plunder and Spoils of War series. All willing and able participants in Call to Arms during this week will receive an offer for 30% off any weapon for standing their ground against the hordes of outlaws, and intrepid travelers who participate and complete two free roam events will receive a new jacket, and that's the blue Charo jacket for male characters and the blue Balor jacket for females. For the final week of this update, we have July 26th through August 1st, we have the Hardcore Last Stand series. Finish the month on a strong note by playing Call to Arms one last time to get your hands on a reward for a free weapon component of your choice. Plus, players who link up with a permanent posse and play Call to Arms for this final week will also receive the Red Shaffer Chaps for throwing themselves into the line of duty here. So those are the four weekly updates for the July event with all the free items and rewards, but we do have a few more ones just for kind of going about this month and playing Red Dead Online. All Red Dead Online players will receive 15 Dynamite and three Grave Sand Bolas for logging in this month, and those who reach rank 10 or above at any time over the course of this month's event will also receive 100 rounds of split point rifle ammo, as well as 50 shells of incendiary buckshot shotgun ammo. Players already above rank 10 will of course receive these as well within 72 hours of logging in, but say if you already have all that stuff, well, you're not gonna get any additional stuff, even though it's just small items and equipment rewards. Plus, completing five roll challenges during any week this month will also land you the blue Carbo Double Bandolier, and if you win three rounds of a showdown mode during any week this month, you'll also receive an offer for 50% off any weapon of your choice, plus all rank locks on all holsters and offhand holsters have been removed. It would actually be really interesting if we had a whole month where all rank unlocks could be removed on like maybe all weapons or something, but I feel like maybe Rockstar wouldn't want to do that because that could be a little bit too much. But moving on to the bonuses, Call to Arms is paying out double gold, money, and XP during the entire month of July, and it may also be worthwhile to get acquainted with any strangers you find out on the frontier because completing free roam missions this month will be doling out double money and XP for the next four weeks as well. And if those two activities don't interest you too much, we have a few smaller bonuses to the likes of triple XP on all gang hideouts in Red Dead this month. And to wrap up the July event bonuses here, we have double character XP and double roll XP on all bounty hunter missions, including legendary bounties until the 1st of August. Rockstar doesn't mention triple chance for earning treasure maps or those treasure maps spawning from looting gang hideout corpses though. That would honestly would have been even better than just triple XP. And then of course we have triple XP in all featured series playlist modes for this July event as we briefly mentioned earlier in this video. So clearly we have three tiers of bonuses. Some really bad, some better but still not fantastic, and then a pretty decent bonus overall. 
The bad is the triple XP on all gang hideouts and double character and roll XP on bounty hunter missions. The decent bonuses are triple money on the featured series playlists and double money and XP on all stranger missions. And of course, we have double gold money and XP on Call to Arms as the cherry on top for this July event. Double gold from any activity, honestly, that pays you in gold is pretty fair as well. You're going to be making just about three gold bars per hour running Call to Arms with a friend or two, completing wave four throwing the game, and then restarting and farming gold that way. When playing solo, it may take a little bit longer than 15 minutes to clear four waves, so you may not be on that three gold bar per hour pace, whereas playing with friends would make sure of that, but this double gold bonus is always appreciated. Now, as we move forward, though, you may have been wondering, hmm, these bonuses sort of sound familiar, and you'd be correct. This update is very close to what we got for the April event here in-game. The only difference is what we haven't talked about yet, which is the new discounts for July, and then, of course, the Prime Gaming rewards and the outfit. So let's get started here. For the free outfit, Redditor Don Solo calls this month's community outfit the Rambler, and Red Dead players can assemble the Rambler's signature look by claiming the following by visiting either your tailor, the general store, or you can just check out the clothing section in your catalog directly. We have a free brown Cayuga hat, a free blue and brown Hartman jacket, which looks awesome, a free brown Lancer vest for males and buckskin king vest for females, a free white everyday shirt for males and casual shirt waist for females, free black rifleman gloves, free black or brown dead boot gun belt and offhand holster, free black light foot pants, and then dusty brown worn ropers boots for free. And we also have those brown Gurdon Deluxe spurs as well that you can get in the catalog there. This month's discounts, we have some pretty good ones, which I'll start off with first. 30% off all multi-class horses. This is for all the roles, bounty hunter, trader, naturalist, collector, and moonshiner. And this also includes the OG horses. So we have Missouri Foxtrotters on discount, Turkomans, Mustangs, we have Clad Rubers, Bretons, Criollos, Norfolk Roadsters, and Gypsy Cops. Those are all the multi-class horses. We also have 30% off all hats, 40% off all gloves, 40% off roll weapon variants, 30% off improved bow variants, 40% off all saddlebags, 40% off fast travel upgrades, 40% off gun holster and offhand holsters, 50% off ammunition, 25% off all roll outfits, and moving on to the Prime Gaming Rewards, Red Dead Online players who connect their Rockstar Games Social Club with Prime Gaming before August 4th will get the Cougar Snarl emote for free, five gold bars, and a reward for a free Navy revolver and vest. So with all that said, I want to know what you think about the July event here in Red Dead Online. I'm not too pressed about the bonuses or the discounts. There's a couple good ones of each, but the problem for me here really is that it, this really just does feel like a repeat of April's event, which was only a couple months ago, you know? We already went from weekly updates to monthly with extra rewards to chase e each week, but now they're just recycling a lot of the same monthly event bonuses and discounts too. There's still some untapped parts of the game that could be used for bonuses still. For example, one and a half times money or double money on collection set sales all month long. I'm not sure why they haven't done that yet. Maybe they thought players would be making too much so we'll never have that, but it just should be something they should check out. But I think with all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.